Good day class, my name is Anthony and today I'm going to be talking about the document report on the cholera epidemic of 1866 in England and this was written by William Farr. Now this document is a report given by William Farr in his investigation regarding the cholera epidemic of 1866 in England. He along with physician John Snow were trying to gather knowledge and go deeper go into deeper insight on the cholera epidemic that was spreading throughout London. Here in this document, William Farr is able to provide us with some insight on the matter with his report. He runs over his beliefs regarding the contaminated water of London, how he believes that cholera that the cholera particles are living beings, and there is still the possibility of cholera being able to infect through airborne transmission. First off, it's important to note that William Farr was convinced that the contaminated water was London's main source of cholera. This is shown in the, t in the text. By 1868, Farr was persuaded that, contaminated, that the contaminated water was the main source of London's cholera, and is found on page 226. He believes that the, water, the, that the river Thames is one of the main sources of cholera and discusses how residents that lived near the river had risks of cholera being airborne which leads to the next observation. The second point that, see, that the document seems to be trying to make is regarding the concept of cholera being transmittable, airborne, and how likely it seemed. Farr believes that th this was to be the case due to the source saying how he does not want to give up on the specific concept or topic. He does not want to rule out the fact that cholera may be transmittable through the air and it seemed most likely that this was the case. Residents nearer to the contaminated rivers and waters were, were advised to be a lot more cautious. The third point that is to be made from this document is that Farr believes that the cholera particles or corpuscles are, are in fact living beings. He suspects that this is possibly true, that due to this being possibly true, it would explain why their impact on London was seemingly temporary. A quote that would have explained this was found on 226 as it states, It has its seed time and its harvest in each locality, and the air or water which one day is poisonous may a few days afterwards be harmless. And that is on also on found on page 226. An initial in inference that I would like to make would be that due to them figuring out where exactly the main source of color is, that they are able to take precautionary measures to ensure that less people get sick. This seemed to be the case as later on in the reading slash text, precautionary measures were set in place to keep check on the waters of London. I would say that the biggest question to come out of this is due to the last sentence of the given text from the source. And that last sentence was, despite his emphasis on the role of water, Far does not give up on the concept of airborne transmission early. I want to ask, do you believe that it is truly possible that cholera may be a, an inborn illness, an airborne illness? Another fa one that I would like to ask would be, do you believe that the particles or corpuscles of cholera are actually living beings? And if they are, do you be think that Far believes them to be temporary due to them having a possible lifespan? This document is significant for the global history of health and medicine and disease due to how it relates back to the main text of the assigned chapter. The text around the document gives a lot of information regarding not only the cholera epidemic of London, but cholera as a whole. A lot of information is provided by William and Farr and John Snow as they have done a massive amount of research on the topic of cholera. An example of this would be how Farr has observed the mortality rate of, from cholera in London. And all in all, it is a, of historical significance due to how the medical research by Farr and Snow helped provide insight on a historical event, the cholera of epidemic of London in 1866. And here is the cited source of the text, and that is all for my presentation. Thank you guys for, for watching and viewing this whole presentation, and I hope it brought some insight on the source that was given. And hope everyone has a nice day.